Here's what's going on, just kind of in a nutshell. You're familiar with ClickFunnels, right? Yes. Okay, so. Oh yeah, you told me you've got like 10 people that have the best funnels in the world. Yeah, so we're getting there. So, well, but let me give kind of the backstory. So, you know, I've been using WordPress for years and years and years, and I've always been frustrated with using WordPress and figuring out where the hell things are. Because if I want to build a sales funnel, I know I've got a, you know, an opt-in page, um, I've got a thank you page, I've got an order page, I've got a post order, you know, I've got upsell, downsell. But in WordPress, you can't find them. They're like all over the place. And if I'm doing right. multiple things, it's ridiculous. ClickFunnels comes in and it's all organized and it's pretty easy to use, at least as far as I'm concerned. And I, and I loved it, but it still wasn't everything. And meanwhile, I didn't feel really happy spending $300 a month on something that, you know, frankly, if WordPress could organize things better, well, hell, you know, that's great. So in the back of my head for a couple of years, it's been like, we just need to write something that will organize things better. You know, when I was, coming, I was you know, something like WordPress funnels or whatever. Um, anyway, long story short, I finally got Matt, my programmer, to, to put it together. And we've been kicking around names for it and everything. Um, and in passing and talking to friends of mine uh, and talking to my attorney about what we were creating, he's like, oh my God, this is a multi-million dollar idea. You really need to run with this and sell this. And so that was the beginning and the genesis of this whole product, because now it's not just a so-called funnel builder. It's a drag and drop uh, system that's in the cloud that basically takes over and indexes your WordPress directory. So pages you've already built can be indexed and dragged and dropped into a funnel. It'll split test and dra you drag and drop into the split test and not just AB, but ABC. Um, nice. Which is a lot more complicated, but we're doing it. And it and will automatically, based on a rule you give it, um, right now you can we're kind of defaulting it with a hundred visits. Based on those on those visits, it will automatically pick the winner for you. So you can like go to sleep and not lose money while you know mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. so we can do that for you. Um, we've added a lot more bells and whistles than just that. I mean, and analytics and, and the whole the whole shooting match. So it's not just like a new organization, it's a whole different thing. And then um, the integration is so beautiful because what I felt was important is like with ClickFunnels, for example, and again, great product. I use it. It's, you know, I've, I've sold a bunch of it, you know, as an affiliate. So it's pretty awesome. But there are a number of things. Number one in ClickFunnels, you can't do any kind of geotargeting. So you, and so you can't just say, good morning, Scott, how are things in Vancouver today? You know, from mm. my, you can't, I've asked, you can't do it. Um, I mean, otherwise you got to write or buy special code with which to do that, which defeats the whole purpose of having something that's supposed to be you know, all put together. But in WordPress, you can. There's plugins that already do that. So, and we've already written something anyway for ourselves that do that. And a friend of mine, Cindy's got something too. So there's, there's things out there in WordPress that do like everything. So what we're doing with it is we're, we're saying, okay, you can use our templates because we're building templates. You know, we're taking some of the templates that I love from other places and modifying them so we don't violate copyrights and everything. Because let's face it, I mean, a, a webinar opt-in is a webinar opt-in. You know, what are you going to do with it? Right. Um, right. But in, in any event, we're doing that. And we're using one page builder as a foundation. You know, so we're going to use Elementor as a foundation because it's free. So that way there's no traction there. But for people that are using Thrive and, and, and WP Bakery and using, um, uh, oh gosh, I'm going to my Divi and, uh, and, and, uh, and so on, Optimized Press, we're translating those into those other work uh, page builders. So effectively, when you use Bagel, you don't have to learn new stuff. You can use exactly what you've got. You don't have, you know, you can continue to use your membership stuff, whether it's a member or uh, a wishlist member, which we use, or, or Membarium, which we also use. You can use all those because, again, we're just cooperating with everything else that's WordPress. So it's not like ClickFunnels where it's their, it's their proprietary system, their membership site, their emailing system it's you use whatever the hell you want because we built it to co to coordinate with everything right mm, so sure. yeah it's really cool and the marketplace for it is humongous you know you look at the wordpress community it's multiple millions of people and multiple verticals it's, it's crazy but anyway in a webinar we don't have years of customer history that and stories that we can tell like like other people can so i thought how can i give extra value uh to people in the offer that makes a ton of sense. And what occurred to me is, why don't we give people the best funnels that are out there to use? Ergo, we created Funnel Pro. 
And so what Funnel Pro is, I, I reached out to, to Ray Edwards, I reached out to Frank Kern, I reached out to da my buddy David Michaels, I reached out to, to Todd Brown, who's, who's like brilliant. And, and we've got others that we're bringing on as well. And what they've agreed to do is give us one of their best funnels that we're gonna put into Bagel. And then we're interviewing them, I'm interviewing them, uh, where they'll de uh, uh, deconstruct the funnel in terms of why do we do this? What's the strategy of that? So mm -hmm. that you're not just getting the format and the template in Bagel, which you then can customize, you're understanding what the mindset was and what created it so that you can actually model based on the philosophy. Because just, you know, just filling in the blanks is great, but it doesn't mean anything. But understanding right. the why behind that means everything, right? So, so that's the model. And, um, and we built it out so that Funnel Pro, I figure each one of these pieces is worth like 300 bucks. So we're giving people eight of them to get started with, and then there'll be an opportunity for them to buy more if they want. But that's the, that's the piece of it. We are doing pretty good with it. The, well, the, the, what we're doing is we're taking people through the actual um, model of how a funnel should work. Because the average funnel, and this is the scary thing, the average person doesn't even use a funnel. They'll just send you from an ad to a sales page, and that's the end of the conversation. You buy or you don't buy, and you're done, right? right? right. So the smart people think, okay, we'll just add, you know, and maybe an opt-in page. You add an opt-in to collect a lead, which is important, and yet you can improve your sales by, you know, by easily 50%. So now you go, you know, you do better than that but then there's still not anything else. Then the people that get even smarter than that is they say, let's add an upsell. So they add one upsell, but there's still no follow-up. So we show you graphically in the actual webcast, I'm calling it a sales funnel masterclass. We show you exactly how this all goes together step by step by step so that that way you can see you go, when you build it the right way, you can go from, from in the example, $74 with the basic what everybody does to over $1,600 when you add the right components to a real funnel, you know? And then when you start adding, we didn't go this far because there's just no time in a webinar to do it, but when you start adding what I call 3D multi-channel or 3D magnetic marketing, now, and now we add a phone call, an SMS, a, a, um, a, word, a, a, a Facebook Messenger uh, bot, and when you, you know, if you send cookies to somebody, if you send a postcard or, or, or mailing, uh, if you do a click to call on the website, you add so many more components to to massively increase your sales because you're you're communicating with them on on another basis. I mean, just and a way that they want to be communicated with, which you don't know what it is, but if you give them all the options, they'll do it. Exactly. I mean, you know, with with one of the companies I've been working with for a number of years that did live events, uh, what I would do, what they did was, yeah, you got a confirmation email, but you also got an SMS. And you got a phone call to make sure you showed up in the seminar room. So it was three ways to reach you so that if one didn't work, you got the other. I mean, these days, who opens up email anymore? Nobody. You know, right. now, the, now, the email marketing gurus you know, say, oh, email's the best because you can target. And I love email. Email's awesome. But there's too much of it. So that by itself isn't enough anymore. People check their SMSs instantly. You know, a, a Facebook message immediately they, they're checking it now so right. you know year, years ago i never used facebook messenger it, it just didn't happen now i'm on it all the time even though i don't, I don't use facebook because facebook to me is a giant time suck but facebook messenger is a critical part of doing business now because there's people that will only use that they won't use skype yes you know well so, they're into facebook everyone's into facebook so they have it exactly Whereas with skype you got to download it and fiddle with it and everything it's just another pain exactly so so anyway the, the, the model is we're showing people how to use 3d multi-channel marketing right um, which has been around for a long time but people don't think about and we're building it into bagel so that when you when you do your funnel steps there's a pop-up that's going to be added to it that says what do you want to do next do you want to send a postcard do you want to make a phone call do you want to send an sms what do you want to do next so it prompts you to think about what your next step is and then we're adding APIs into using other services, whether it be an SMS through Twilio, whether it be through sending a postcard through, um, I forget the name of the, our, our postcard source, sending cookies or brownies. We can automate all that. So that's where, where we're gonna excel 
not just building out a funnel, but really building out an entire customer experience. And um, you know, we're still at the infancy of this. Bagel's just about to be released, um, so uh, it's 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 a big deal. And that's the journey. You know, we're giving people a much more holistic way of reaching a customer that was really haven't hasn't been done easily before ever. And um, right. You know, it's well, and that's the key to be able to put it together easily, do it often because it's easy. You get better at it. And all of a sudden you have, you're putting people through your process. Exactly. And anyone who plays with us now, you know, on a webcast now, they're really founding members of Bagel. Bagel is brand new. So they're going to be able to be part of that whole journey as the product gets developed and anything that they want added, anything that they're like, well, can you do this? Well, they're not dealing with Microsoft. They're dealing with me and my team, you know, so, so, and I built Bagel for me. I built it because I wanted something better that was less expensive uh, that could be flexible. So we will always be limber that way. And we want, we want customer impact, you know, input. We want to make, make things the best. So that's the, that's the journey. Right. Cool. So how, when are we going to be putting on, or when are you going to be putting on the webinar? Good question. Um, we are going to decide 